Everyone, I'm Allie with Springs in the Desert. Today is the feast of St. Catherine of Siena. Despite living only 33 years from 1347 to 1380, you have probably heard of this powerhouse female saint. She dedicated her life to God at a very, very young age, despite the wishes of her parents for her to have a different vocation. And she was very well known throughout the area of Italy in which she lived for um, her intense prayer life and mysticism and for her many sacrifices for God and for other people, um, for praying for others and encouraging them to holiness and counseling them. She received the stigmata and she's a doctor of the church. Um, she's also the patron saint of Europe and of Italy. So her influence um, and her spiritual maternity extend widely. I have a particular devotion to St. Catherine because she's my confirmation saint. So perhaps when you were confirmed um, as a young person, you also chose a confirmation saint. If you haven't already gotten to know them again as an adult, I encourage you to do so. Um, I got to know St. Catherine again when I was dating my husband because I learned that his confirmation saint is St. Dominic. You can see the two of them pictured here. Um, this is Our Lady of Pompeii giving them the rosary. Uh, St. Catherine lived about 100 years after St. Dominic, but she was a third order Dominican and had a special relationship with him, was very um, devoted to him. So when we learned that these two saints were uh, had this relationship, we felt very strongly that they had interceded for us in bringing us together, and we continue to pray to them um, for our marriage. Infertility places so many stresses on a marriage. And um, this relationship that we have with these saints helps us to remember that God truly brought us together according to his perfect plan and that he does have a plan for our fruitfulness. Um, and perhaps one of the ways for that fruitfulness is to bring us spiritual children, um, like these two saints give us an example of a powerful spiritual maternity and paternity. God loves you and has a plan for your marriage and loves your marriage too. I encourage you to get to know saints who you can pray to and whose lives can remind you of the goodness of your marriage um, and the love that God has for you and perhaps give you an inspiration for some of the plans um, that he may have for your life. Please leave a comment in the um, comment section below and tell us what saint, which saints you pray to through infertility. We'd love to hear from you. And please follow us on www.springsinthedesert.org. We have a Mother's Day retreat coming up um, and we would love for you to join us. It's going to be really wonderful and we're going to explore the theme of belonging. So um, thank you so much again for watching and may God bless you.